was Scotland's own coronation day when King George, his Scottish Queen and their two daughters arrived at Princess Street Station. His Majesty was welcomed by the Secretary of State for Scotland, Mr. Walter Elliot, with the Guard of Honour of Scots Guards. It was here that the King received from the Lord Provost the keys of Edinburgh. The Royal Party left the station for the drive to the Palace of Holyrood. It is nearly 400 years since the Scottish Queen drove in state through the capital. The leading cavalry in the procession was the Scottish horse, raised by the present Duke of Athol in the South African War. In the grounds at Holyrood, His Majesty inspected the royal archers. As the Queen walked along, a veteran of fourscore years cried out, You're a bonny lassie. And with a happy smile, Her Majesty paused and chatted for a while. <coughs> then the King inspected the royal archers. This fine company of men with their traditional uniform is the King's bodyguard in Scotland. Here, His Majesty was presented with the Redendo, three barbed arrows which, under their ancient charter, the archers are bound to give to the King while he is in Scotland. And the Redendo was handed back. In spite of the long train journey from London and the heavy round of duties that awaited him in Scotland, His Majesty was obviously in the best of health and spirits here. <laughs>